Alright everyone, welcome to a brand new video. Now in today's video, we're going to be fitting the Maxton Design side skirts to my BMW 118i. We're going to bring it in here and with the aim of this video is basically to show you guys that you don't need to bring it to a garage, you can do it yourself at home. Luckily, the weather's so bad today, we've got a shelter, but you don't actually need one obviously, but we're going to be putting the car up on some wooden blocks uh, and fitting it with a drill and some self-tapping screws. So. This is just to prove that you can do it at home, you don't need to take it to a garage, and that's the same as what we did with our front splitter. Now if you want to know how you fit a front splitter, it applies to all the different car models, then check out the link in the top right hand screen right now, and uh, yeah, then you'll know how to fit that as well. But yeah, I hope you guys all had a good Christmas, it's coming to the end of the year now, so next year hopefully we're going to be pumping out some amazing videos, new cars, new project cars, stuff like that, I've got loads of plans which I'm really looking forward to, so stick around, leave a like and subscribe down below on the video. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's get the car in, get it up on some blocks, and uh, I'm going to show you exactly how we fit these side skirts. Okay, so this is the setup. It's nothing special, but literally, like I say, just get some planks of wood from the garden, lay them on the floor, and then we're going to drive in now up onto these blocks so we get a bit more ground clearance so we can get under the car easier. Okay, so we have got the car up on some on the blocks now, so we'll be able to hopefully now fit the side skirts perfectly along there. Okay, so I'm just going to clean the underside of this, so when we put the side skirts on, it's a, it's a nice clean surface and there's no dirt or any grime in there. Okay, so I've got the Maxim Design side skirts on my shank to open it. So I'm going to somehow, wherever I split it, hopefully this fits perfectly, because if it doesn't, then I have to send it back, and that is just annoying. Oh, I think I opened it at the end. Alright, oh man, who they are. Is this one or is this both? Yeah, this is both. In this bag is both the side skirts. Alright, let's get them out of this packaging and then hopefully we'll, we'll hold them up to the side um, and see if it fits. Because there's a protective film on this and if you take the film off, then you can't send it back. So you make sure it fits with the film on and then if it does fit, then you take the film off and fit it. Okay, the bag is open. Oh! On, I didn't actually realise, but on this front splitter they sent us bolts with like these things that go on the other side, but on this one they've actually sent us self-tapping screws, which I did not realise, but I've got my own one, so I'm going to use them, as I don't have this attachment for these, but I didn't realise that, that's useful. Okay, so, now is seeing what side is which, and this is the first one. Does it not have the Maxton logo on it? Oh, it does have the logo, there it is on the side. But yeah, you take this off, but we need to measure this first to make sure it all fits. But what way does it go? Does that go at the back or the front? Okay, so after having a look at both of the side skirts on the side of the car, because it doesn't actually say in the instructions what one goes on what side, but looking at photos, this side, which is the one where the logo is at the back, goes on the left-hand side. So put the logo at the back because it then follows the line better and it does fit better this way like this side this doesn't look out of place though when it is on this bit but logo at the back for this particular side skirt okay so what we're going to do first is we're going to install this one off camera just so we know exactly what we're doing know exactly how to explain it to you guys because the first one always takes a little bit longer to do so when we know what we're doing we're going to get back to you and then we're going to do the other side on camera okay so we fit the right hand side side skirt and it looks so so good let me show you so as you can see it fits perfectly and it as I said before, the badge goes at the back, like that, but from here, you can see it just makes the car look lower, but we're going to show you now how you actually do this yourself uh, on the other side, and then we'll get it off the, off the blocks and we'll show you what it looks like outside, but let's now get on to fitting the left hand side side skirt. Okay, so now we're on the left side, I'm going to show you the two things that you need to actually fit this one better. The first thing is this drill, it's like a get a drill which is small like this you don't like you can get these bigger drills that come out to like here but you'll struggle to actually get under the car so have a small drill um, and the screws that you need it comes with so the side skirts came with these like these type of screws as you can see hold on let it focus 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 it's not focusing can you see it it's like a it's like a bolt on the top and then it's a self tapping on the bottom but what I use is the one with the Phillips head on it and it's the same thing, self-tapping screws. They're actually, to be precise, that's what they are. If it's focused for fuck's sake. 
<laughs> that's that's what the screws are. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is measure it and make sure it's all fit. It fits properly while the film is still on. When you know it fits, then what I would do is take the film off, as Jake is now doing, and look how clean and shiny that is underneath. This is incredibly satisfying. All right, now that is off. Well, you de I would definitely recommend two people for this, unless you have like a jack stand that you're able to jack it up so it holds itself. Jake will hold it while I screw it in. Okay, so far we have just done the three screws. We've done one under the front, one in the middle, and one at the back. And that is now being held up by itself. If I go underneath and show you where I've screwed, so you can see there, one right at the front, in the middle there, you can see the last one just there. And then, basically, because that's now holding itself up, you'll be able to, literally, if you're wondering about how you actually measure it and fit it in, the, the jacking points, which is there, this pushes right up against it. So because it pushes right up against it, it fits really flush. And then you know exactly where it goes on. So don't worry about placing it. All you've got to do is make sure this is perfectly lined up either side. So it's like, and they do fit flush as well. Either side, as you can see, that is perfect right there. And it's the same on the back. But yeah, all we've got to do now is put more screws in in between. being installed hopefully you guys can see what to do now and you know how to install it yourself but we're going to get it off the ramps get it outside and we're going to show you what it looks like but both from so far looking at it in the garage it looks insane but without further ado let's get it off the ramps and let's take a look outside These sides guys have actually changed the car. I definitely need gloss black wheels though because it almost breaks up now. It follows so nicely the gloss black to gloss black but I don't know this definitely needs changing next. That might be the next thing to do. But I have also got, let me know what you guys think. I've got the M Performance side skirts, the one, the stickers that go on like here to the end. But I think they might be like a satin black looking colour instead of gloss black. But that's what they usually are, satin black. Let me know whether you think that would look good or not or that would almost ruin it having the satin black M Performance side skirt. Um, but yeah, that otherwise that would be what I do. But black roof that would look sick. But yeah, this car with all the gloss black, that angle there looks so good. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Whether you like the side skirts or not, and whether it's helped you guys. Whether you now know how to do it, or you think it's been helpful this video. But yeah, I've enjoyed doing it, and it looks so good. I'm looking forward to to when this car is all complete and it just looks so so good but it's coming together it's coming together really really nicely now but also if you made it this far into the video comment down below side skirt just write side skirts then i will know that you've made it this far and i really appreciate that if you watch the whole videos it really really helps and uh yeah but yeah that is going to be it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like and subscribe down below and also check out all the socials as well i'm always posting photos of this car when the new videos are out stuff like that or when i give it a nice clean and it's looking at its, at its best but yeah jake's socials will be down below as well check them out he's the guy who helps me film he helps me put my mods on so yeah check him out down below if you did like the video leave a like and subscribe down below and i'll catch you guys in the next one